Welcome to Fire Recruitment Australia. In this video, we're going to be going through some of Pearson Talent Lens's numerical reasoning. Before this first question here, we're looking what value of R will make this true. So this is a four digit number here. And when you divide it by 12, you get 311. So really we're just asking 311 times 12 is what? Easiest way to do this is do 311 times 10, which is just add an extra zero on the end and 311 times two, which is just doubling it. And then add these two answers together and you get, which means the missing number is a three. What you have to realize in this question here is that this is the exact same expression on the top and on the bottom. This is the exact same as this, and this is the exact same as this. It's just a different order. And cause we're adding just the same number twice, this will be the same number on the top and the same number on the bottom. And when you divide 12 divided by 12, that is one. 10 divided by 10, that's also one. So because the top is the same as the bottom, the answer to this expression is one and you don't need to calculate anything. Similarly here, this is whenever you say brackets, it is just multiplication. So this is one times minus four times two times minus three. The one times minus four is minus four times two is minus eight. And then times by minus three will be positive um, 24. Why? Minus times a minus is a plus. And then eight times three is 24. The answer to this one is none of the above. Welcome to Fire Recruitment Australia. In this series, we're gonna go through some of Pearson Talon's lenses face relationship questions. Before this first question here, what we're looking for is the relationship between shapes and how this will fold up. So ultimately, when we fold this together, this shape here is going to come next to this shape here in some way or another. And we know that these squares are basically going to be next to each other. So this is going to rule out C because you'll notice that this shape is not coming next to the other two. Also, when you fold it up, you're going to be folding this around onto here. So it's going to be two boxes this way and one box next to it this way. So this rules out D because it's actually on the wrong side of the two boxes, the little square, the one box by itself should be on the other side. That leaves us A or B. So now we just got to work out where this gray square goes. And this gray square is at the end of the single square one, which checks out for number A, because it's at the end of that square. So that rules out B, giving us the answer of A. So this next one here, firstly, you realize that there's one gray square and one gray rectangle. So that rules out A because there's two gray rectangles and rules out D because there's no black rectangle. Also rules out C because we have two rectangles, but in this one, but we only had one gray rectangle. So that gives us an answer of B. Next one here. 